Big changes at one of our nation's biggest bases. Fort Stewart still growing. Our Chrissy Hutchings tonight takes us to the 4th Brigade Combat Team's new home, explains why it's important and how it almost didn't happen. Okay, on three. Ready? Three. It's been a long time coming, but finally, the 4th Infantry Brigade Combat Team has a place of their very own. Specialist Tanisha Hunter is one of the soldiers living here. We weren't expecting it to be this. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't at all. From going from the living conditions that we had in Iraq, which were pretty good compared to uh, other deployments, but then when you come home and the soldiers get off the plane, they're greeted on the field by the friends and families, and then the next thing you know, they're moving into brand new barracks, you know, brand new def uh, dining facilities, brand new workplaces. It's huge. The 4th Brigade is enjoying it now, but originally, this project wasn't intended for them. The more than $300 million project was designed to house a new unit, a 5th Brigade. Everyone started preparing, investing, making room for the new soldiers. Then that promise was broken, leaving folks in disbelief. This project could have been halted, but the third ID went through with it anyway. There's a lot of people that were involved in making this happen. Uh, from senators to congressmen to the mayors to the community, you know, and then army leaders. I think working together group as a group to make this happen is, it just shows the class that's here in coastal Georgia for the military. It's greatly appreciated. Well, we're thankful for the people that did fight for it, and we're glad that it actually came to pass. It wasn't easy, but well worth the wait. At Fort Stewart, Christy Hutchings, WTOC News. One of the most convenient improvements, everything's in walking distance. The barracks, dining facility, and the training area.